So the TB Research Methods course is really an introduction, a bit of an overview into different uh, methods used for clinical and epidemiologic uh, research into TB. Uh, it's not basic science. Typically we have a mix of lectures and small group work. And again, the small groups are divided into different methods. So you'll have a small group in molecular epidemiology or operations research. And they will work over the course of the week to develop a protocol. And by Friday, they present that protocol in a group session altogether. There are many courses in TB. And there are certainly some courses now in TB research. But there's, I don't, I'm not aware of any course that offers a broad, diverse introduction to many different methods, given again by people who really are experts in that particular methodology. So it's a broad overview. There's a bit of hands-on. Um, so it's a nice introduction. It's certainly not, we're not trying to train people necessarily to walk out of here experts in doing randomized trials. That's not realistic. But they should at least have a much better sense of what's involved. They would at least be able to read a paper much better and understand it. They may well be able to understand it when someone asks them permission to do a randomized trial in their setting or ask them to be a co-investigator. And we hope that this will stimulate them to get more involved in research, to start doing research, and maybe to do further research training later.